All right, you have a driver's license? I don't have it on me, but I know my driver's license. Uh, Why well, don't you have your license on you? I forgot it. Can I call my mom? No, ma'am. There's no reason to call your mom. Slurred speech. Uh, she got several things going. Okay. What's she balling now? Yep. What are you upset about? I just want my mom. Why does that have to... Why, okay. When you smoke or when you drink alcohol or anything that is intoxicating, okay, you can't operate the vehicle. Okay. No, when that yeah, intoxication but I was parked when to, I smoked. Huh? I was parked when I smoked. But immediately oh, after like, you're I driving. Can't, I can't, yeah. I can't. Call my mommy, please. All right. You're fine. You're 21. I have my cousin's gun on me. Pardon me? I've got a gun. Wow, me. Get let go of it. Uh, let go of it. Let go. <laughs> I might be pregnant, too. I don't know. People are like getting on the fucking brakes, man. Jesus. Come on. Even the car behind me about ran into me. Hello, driver. This stops audio and video recorded. Okay, you've been stopped for life plate. I can't understand what your plate's reading there. Um, all right, so I just drove. So I've been trying to get um, the, my car registered and repaired, but I'm going to my mom's house. She's supposed to be doing it. Okay. All right. Because I couldn't register and insure it because the paper was signed wrong. But I'm going. She got my. So paper. that tag's expired, right? That's on the back of the car. Um, I just found that out just yesterday. Okay. All right. You have a driver's license? I don't have it on me, but I know my driver's license. Uh, Why don't you have your license on you? I forgot it. All my stuff is in my mom's car. I'm meeting her right now. Okay. You want me to call her? No, what I want you to do is write your information down here for me. I need your Florida driver's license information. Do you have a Florida driver's license? I'm from Rhode Island. I'm have from you ever had a Florida driver's license? No, I just moved down here. Give me your name, date of birth, and uh, your current address. Hey, go ahead and call it out for me, would you? Yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to read that tag or not. Thank you, 15. That's 15. Sorry, I just been my I just been going through a lot. My I understand. I'm moving, yeah, my family and I'm, when I moved down here, my family moving also. Yeah. Okay. So the fact that they move in, the fact that they from they move from um, the fact that I moved down here and we moving up and then the fact that I moved down here, I caught them when they're moving too. Okay, I understand completely, dude. Yep. And I'm still like I'm sorry. I just you're fine. I'm sorry. Um, do you want my license number in case? Your your license number? Yes, ma'am. That would be very helpful. All right. How old are you? You look very young. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's the Asian in me. So, um, it's a Rhode Island, is that right? Yes. So I'm just Sydney, gonna, how do you say your last name? I'm just gonna, um, yeah, my mom said that she was helping me. Like, we tried to register it yesterday at the meeting, yeah. but she said that, um, they said that the person that sold me the car didn't sign in the right area, so okay. we had to fix it. And I forgot the car, I forgot to take the car. We'll figure it all out, but you gotta give me a minute, okay? Right. Do you have any paperwork for this car inside this car? No, it's a no paperwork for the um, license plate? No, isn't, isn't, can I get the picture from her? It's in her car, because I tried to register my car yesterday. Um, no, that's okay. What I'm going to have you do is set your phone down and come on out over here and stand with the officer on the curb, okay? okay. While I figure out this car, okay? You just leave your phone in the car. Can I call my mom? No, ma'am. There's no reason to call your mom. If we need it in a minute, we'll get the phone All for right. you. But just stay with these officers right here. Just come to that window. I'm live and I'm gonna stay live, but um, she looks like she's got impairment and you can smell the burnt cannabis in the car. Yeah, there's a bunch of So she's actively driving a smoke. Oh, there's, there's some in there? There's, it's, it's old. Like, okay, bridges, yeah, that's fine. She's been active smoking with us now or right before she got in the car, but she's slurred speech. Uh, she got several things going. Okay. What's she balling now? Yep. Hey, Sydney, can you stand up for me? Stand up so we can talk, okay? Please. 
Let's step on over here in the shade. What are you upset about? My cousin. So my cousin had passed away, and I just need her. That's why I moved back. Cause I don't got no okay. one. I just want my mom. Why does that have? To, why, okay. Well, your mom's not in your car when you were driving, right? So you, there's not a problem with you being out. It's not, but I just like I'm not from here. I don't okay. leave me alone. And I'm gonna work. If you're worried about that license plate, we're gonna figure that out. That's not gonna be a huge deal. Let me tell you why I have officers here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in just a few seconds, I'm gonna do a roadside evaluation to see if you've operated a vehicle while in a state of impairment off of the cannabis that you've been smoking. You can't operate a vehicle in Florida after you've consumed, ingested, or whatever um, controlled substances. When I leave, like how I just walked out. So we'll talk about left, all that. I just left my mom, like literally, I just okay. left her, and I, like in the parking lot, I, and I told, and then she told me to go drive the car and drop it off, and that's it. Okay, and, and we'll figure and that she out. She said she was gonna meet me. I just okay. want my mom, please. Yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta do this first. Okay. Um, let's step away from this tree so I don't have this in my face. Here we go. Turn around and face me now. You're 21 years old. You're an adult. You know, there's some <laughs> things that you're gonna have to figure out on your own in your life, and this is one of them. It looks like. Okay. Just because you and I are talking doesn't mean you're in any trouble at all, all right? It just means you and I are going to have a conversation. I'm going to evaluate you to see. Um, you've obviously been smoking some marijuana, okay? Yeah, at the house. So do you have a, a medical marijuana card? No, I smoked at the house with my, okay. with my brother. So My mom was there. When you smoke or when you drink alcohol or anything that is intoxicating, okay, you can't operate the vehicle. Okay. No, when that yeah, intoxication I was parked gets when the, I smoked. Huh? I was parked when I smoked. But immediately oh, after like, you're I driving, can't, I can't, yeah, I can't. it's like oh, drinking so six not... beers. It's like drinking six beers, waiting 20 minutes to get in your car and driving. You didn't drink and drive at the same time, but you did after you had the intoxicating substance. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you and I are going to have a little evaluation going here. Doesn't mean you're in any trouble though. Mm -hmm. All right. Part of that evaluation is I need to read to you what's called your Miranda warning. It doesn't mean you're going to jail. Have you ever heard your Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent type thing. You ever heard that? It doesn't mean you're going to jail when you hear this. It means I want to ask you a specific question when I'm done, right. okay? If you'll listen closely to me, you I have the get... right to remain silent. Okay. okay, you listening? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand the rights I read them to you? Yes. And having that in mind, are you willing to talk to me now? Yes. Okay, all right, it's gonna be real simple. I'm not gonna trick you, okay? I'm gonna ask you some some questions. I expect an honest response. Don't lie to me. I would I rather you lie. not answer than to lie, okay? So you already told me that you smoked a little bit of marijuana before you drove. About how long ago was that? Probably like 30 minutes ago. Okay, I'm and you do not have a medical marijuana card? No. About how much marijuana do you have in the joint, we'll call it, that you smoke? I only had a gram in the joint that I smoked. One gram, yeah. okay. About an hour ago, one gram. Yeah, 30 minutes, one gram. Are you a diabetic? No, I am anemic. Pardon me? I'm only an anemic. Okay, you don't have epileptic seizures? Do you see a doctor weekly or monthly? No. Okay. I won't. Are you prescribed any medications? No. Just what? No, I'm no? not. No? Okay. The last thing I took was antibiotics, but I don't take them anymore. Okay, that was a while ago. Okay. And then you're, based on what you're telling me, then you're, you have pretty good health, is that right? Yeah, I used to pass out a lot, but I don't pass out no more. Was that from anemia, being anemic? Yes. Okay. I noticed that you've walked without a cane, you've walked without crutches, you don't have a handicap placard in your car, so there you don't have any physical defects that keep you from simply walking, turning, um, or doing motion, is that right? Okay. Oh, I do have, like, my tailbone broken. I was supposed to go get checked Your out. Your tailbone? Yeah, and I was supposed to go get checked out, but I never went, and I was like... I'm how do you know the tailbone's broken? Because I went to the hospital. Okay, so, and like, they were, how long ago was that? They told me I had chronic pain. It was in Atlanta, like, this year. And so it's been a while. Year. Is that why you smoke marijuana for the chronic pain? Yeah, and it helps me, like, sleep and stuff. Like, it helps me get through the night. If you smoke it for chronic pain, why don't you go get a medical marijuana card? I just haven't had a chance to go back up north in Rhode Island from where I'm from. We can get one I here. Just, okay. I just came back from Georgia. Yeah, if you're so living I'm, here, you can get one. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna That's something maybe you can work on later, right? Yeah. Okay. Right now, are you feeling sick? No. You feel injured right now? No. Okay. I know what you're telling me about your tailbone. I believe you. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't prohibit you from doing simple movements. You yeah. were sitting on it without any special yeah, cushion I know. or, or uh, you have no. No, I have, I have a donut. But I just don't use it. But it's not in yeah. that car right now. 
Um, the, I bought it from a pharmacy, but it's not yeah. prescribed. But you're not using it right now? No. So it's not something that you're dependent on. It's something maybe that gives you a little more comfort, but it's not yeah. something you're dependent. It's, yes. Okay. All right. And again, I've seen you walk over here. I've seen you even sit down on the ground and get up on your own. Yeah. So there's no problem there. Okay. Would you take off your glasses for me? I can't. Yeah, just take them off. Okay. Take them all the way up. Just put them in your pocket. You're not going to have to read anything. <laughs> all right. See the tip of this ink pen? Yeah. Follow the tip of that ink pen with your eyes. All right. Do not move your head. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> Open up the eyes. Open them up. There we go. Don't move the head. Open up the eyes. Don't move your head. Open up the eyes for me. I'm just going to show him something. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Okay. Let's open your eyes up. Open your eyes. There you go. Follow the pen straight up. Do not move your head. This time I'm going to go around your head. I'll bring the ink pen towards your nose, but I will not touch you. Okay? Understand? All right. Open up your eyes. I'm not going to touch you with the pen. What I was showing him was um, your eyes are showing things. People that smoke cannabis regularly, there's certain things their eyes do that uh, a person that doesn't smoke cannabis that their eyes won't do. So, uh, do you smoke probably about a gram a day then? Yeah, I don't smoke a lot. I don't. I really don't. How many times a week do you think you smoke? Probably like three or four times. Three, four times, yeah, and I that, I, like, feel like I want to like or need it for like when I'm when I need to go to sleep and I have trouble sleeping. Okay. All right. All right. So about three or four times a week at a gram a piece. Um, okay. No other medications. Am I getting a ticket? You what? Am I getting we a haven't ticket? got anywhere near that yet. Okay, we're we're still doing uh, this interview here. This is going to take a couple more minutes, and then we'll be done. We'll decide what's going to have to happen there. All right. Where's the marijuana at in your vehicle right now? Um, and, um, and I don't have none. Don't go get it. But you what? Would you get I have ready? like a roach. Like, okay. It's in the middle. In the console. No, in the cup holder. Okay, in the middle, there's a burnt roach. Yeah. Which was means that you were smoking marijuana? No, that was in a. I told you I was just at my house. Whose mar burnt marijuana is that one? That was what we were smoking. So you smoked it and then in brought the car, it with you? Yeah. No, we parked and smoked and then I just in the left. car. Yeah, and then my brother got out and I just left. Okay, so you smoked it when you're setting. Yeah, in the my car. brother. Yeah, my brother came in and. Is that in front of your house? Yeah. What is your house address? Um, I well, I'm staying at my mom's house. It's okay. So you sat there with your brother and, and smoked in front of the house in the car. Yeah. Okay, about an hour ago. Is there any marijuana in your in your coat right now? No, you can check it. It's okay. Just empty. Yeah, we might do that in a minute. I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. We have a couple more things we're going to do. These officers are going to stand with you while I uh, do some things. I'll come back and we'll keep moving. Okay. All right. All right. My little brother, can you? I need to call my mom to get him. Can you? Um, can I just call him? So um. Not yet, but I mean, maybe. yeah. Give me a moment. I'm allowed to use my phone. They said. Who told you that? That's what like the law is, right? They no, that not at all. That's record and stuff. Nowhere near the law, no. But I need to call my my brother is gonna be stuck there. How old's your brother? He's like 14, 15. Okay, where's he stuck at? Um, at school, right up here. That's where he's going to get him. Um, on the way there, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's a, a at that age, he'll be fine waiting on you. Yeah. He has a phone of his own, is that right? Mm -hmm. So he can give her a call if you don't show up. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Are you okay to stay with us? Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about what we're getting ready to do. It's real simple. I just don't got it wrong. That's why I have my the coat. That's fine.
I know. I'm running too. Go ahead. But I, will, I can't do this, right? You have to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So I was going to say how I'd like to I was, ride, We're just going to walk through this to see it. Yeah, okay. And I'll talk about what our plans are tomorrow okay. after this. Actually, um, hey, if you, if you, um, want to do the HGN all over, if you want to start from there, you can go. Yeah, just do the whole, the FSTs. Do the what? Do the whole FSTs. Yeah, if, if you, if you want to start the, the HGN all over again, you heard the interview, you don't yeah. have to do that over. Yeah. You can do the HGN and move right into the other two, if you okay. want, if you don't, I'll do it, I don't care. Yeah, let me try it. Yeah, 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 sure, no problem. Um, no, I'm just gonna. We're just gonna record off oh, cameras. Okay. Yeah, I know I could, but I'm not too worried about that. She's a heavy cannabis smoker. Go ahead and focus on here. You got a funny story for you later. Pardon me? Yeah, don't tell me on camera. So. <laughs> You're always good for a story. Wants to sit down. Really right now. Well, it's not much about my Your prescription? Okay, you can you can keep them on that. Um, okay, if you want to come over here, we're gonna start the second test. So I have to walk on that line. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the one thing I would offer to do um, is if she wants to remove the shoes and do it in yeah. her socks, she can. Yeah. It's up to you. Place you under arrest for uh, suspected DUI. Okay. Yep, just right now. All right. We'll explain more what's going on. Yeah, oh, you're under arrest for operating a vehicle on that right? man. That's the toxin we believe it to be cannabis. Can you call my mom? We will take care of that. Listen, I'm going to double lock these so they don't tighten up on you. All right. Can you call my mom? Yep, we will. Call my mom. Take a picture. We're taking a We will. We'll we'll take care of it. You're 21. You're an adult. Very skinny. Please call my mom. We'll bring the phone with you. You'll get that opportunity, okay? Please call my mom! Mom! You know, I'm going to tighten this one. Just pull them off. Please yeah. call my mom! Sydney, relax, relax. Please call my mommy. Please. Okay, we'll... You'll have the opportunity to do that later, okay? One later, when I'm in the cell, when I can't get out. Yep, I you'll get out. Myself. Yeah, very skinny. That's gonna That's have to the be the last just... one. Yeah. Okay. All right, Sydney, we're gonna go Would over here. Would you search her for us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have we're gonna stay Should live for the call? vehicle search, and we'll be off. I have my cousin's gun on me. Pardon me? I have my cousin's gun on Stop. Me. Stop. Don't reach. I've got a gun. Yep. Wow, man. Get let go of it. Uh, let go of it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the gun. I got it. 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 I got it.
sorry. Let go. Just take it out, please. I'm sorry. I'm scared. This sounds traumatized. Right, we're, calm. we're calm. We're calm. We're good. I mean, I can't breathe. Well, you don't grab it if you fire it or you shot somebody. I'm sorry. I was gonna hand it to you. I'm sorry, sir. This is my cousin's gun. Okay. It's not all right. Him. All right. We'll figure it out. This is my ex-boyfriend's cousin. Can you call my mom? No. You'll do that later. All right. Let's finish the search. Yep. Get her a position we can. Yep. Just make sure nothing else. My life is over. I didn't do nothing. I promise. I go to the gun range. I'm clean. You can search me. I promise, yo. I promise, y'all. My dead cousin. I don't got nothing. I go to the gun range with my brother, my cousin. Oh man. I might be pregnant too. I don't know. Alright, can she search? Yeah, Let's bring her up. Go ahead and stand up. Yeah, stand up. Here we go. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Let's finish the search and then. Y'all got me. It's cool. All right. I don't got nothing. I promise I'm clean. I didn't shoot nobody. All right, well, we got to continue what we're doing. All right, we're you good. I see the paper behind. I go to the gun range. I go to the gun range. I promise you. Okay. I, do. I understand. You got a gun permit on you? Huh? No, but I go to the gun range. They, they okay, allow that's to. a concealed carry, but we can talk about that later. I didn't you're, know. You're I'm sorry. Search. All right. They allow us to bring guns to the gun range, though. Okay. All right. It would have been nice if you'd have told us about it from the beginning. Oh, you got a brown paper bag? I probably don't, to be honest with you. Uh, I got one in my trunk. So yeah, go get you, it. Uh, in my file folder, in like the second pocket, I got brown paper bags. Can you grab those out, please? Unless I wasn't worried about the bag. gun until no. her hands got That's on it. That's what I said, huh? yeah. But I wasn't worried about the gun until her hands got right, on it, and right. then she wouldn't release That's it. That's a thing. But she's going to pull the trigger, you know. All right. Was there, one? The Was there one in? He's going to... Um, there wasn't one in there? There wasn't one in the chamber? Good job. What's it with you and guns, man? No shit. You're fine. Don't bang your head. That's just being silly. It's not going to get you anywhere. Just relax. Huh? So uh, you got gloves? Yep. Let's do a, a search incident to arrest. Yep. You'll do the passenger side. I'll do the driver's side. We'll knock this out real quick. How many did you grab? One or two? Yeah. Are you live on your camera? Yep, All right, so if you find drugs, guns, whatever, yep. get it good on camera first, and then we can recover it. Yep.